Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and this is part one of a two-part lighting series. So every so often I post a picture of my truck on Facebook groups or Instagram, and I get a lot of questions as to, hey, what's that light right there? What bracket are you using to mount that light? So I figure it was time to finally kind of post a recap of all the lighting products I've done to date. So that are um, this one's pretty official. I actually made a script for this project. But again, this is gonna be a two-part series. So part one is gonna be talking about the specific lights and the brackets I use for mounting. So here in the daylight, then part two we'll wait till it's a little bit darker outside and then we'll actually show you what the light pattern looks like I figure that's the most usable way and a good way to not make the video way too long so so anyway let's dive right into it we're gonna start with the front lights and then we'll work our way to the rear uh, first and foremost let's talk about these because these are probably the most asked about lights I have on my truck so these are the diode dynamic ss5s these are the pro series they also come in sport these are some of my favorite lights on the market today because they have a really cool function where they have uh, eight different colors of backlighting. So I typically run them either in either yellow, amber, or white. But on the holidays, sometimes I'll run them in red and green. But again, eight different colors there. So blue, pink, cyan, uh, red, white, amber, and yellow, I believe, are, and, and green if I didn't already say it. But anyway, Diodynamic SS5 pods. The pattern is the driving pattern and you'll see a common theme across all my lights from diode dynamics is all of them have the driving pattern unless i have the ones in the rear which are a combo but the driving pattern to me is one of the most usable um outputs usable light layouts that uh diode dynamics makes on their uh their pods spots a little too hot in the middle for me fog light or flood lights a little bit too wide the driving for me is a perfect medium in between it's a very usable light layout uh, but anyway, these are the SS5s. Total lumen output on these bad boys is 9,600 lumens. That's measured lumen output. Um, so I'm just kind of going off the specs that they have on their website. Um, like I said, these have backlighting. So the main light itself, so the light that's creating that 9,600 lumens is about 90 watts per main beam. So I got 180 watts of SS5s on the front end of my truck. And then I have 3.2 watts for the backlighting. So not a lot on the backlighting. Um, enough to be powered by my relay and whatnot so the back lighting is 3.2 watts the main lighting is um, 90 watts. as far as mounting these these are on dark dune brackets so these and i get a lot of questions about these brackets i'll be really specific here so these are dark dune brackets and these are only for ram rebels there are mounting points here uh between the bumper and the grill that ram rebels have that the other trim levels do not have which is why we're able to run these brackets i know diode dynamics is coming out with their own kit that mounts some lights right here and i think baja designs has some as well but these are the dark dune kits and it allows me to mount uh pods up on the front and if you get real crazy you can connect them so you could use the ss5 link kit or put a light bar there that measures the distance here but anyway i get a lot of questions on those guys those are the dark dune brackets and they bolt right in there's no drilling or whatsoever just ran the light wire through the grill and we're all good on that one so anyway that's the recap on the ss5s so let's go talk about my hood hinge lights right now all right so let's talk about our hood hinge lights or our a pillar lights so these are diode dynamic ss3 pros the ss3s from diode dynamics comes in three different outputs you'll have sport you'll have pro and max and obviously as you go up to max the light output increases as does the price uh, so these guys are putting out roughly three 3500 lumens per lamp so what's that 7,000 lumens are coming out of my a pillars and these are arguably my favorite lights and probably the most popular lights we all have on our trucks but anyway 38.5 watts is what they're putting out or what they're consuming as far as power um, these are the older versions of the ss3 maxes the newer ones do come with backlighting like the ss5s unfortunately they only have four different options so you got white amber red and blue you don't have the purple cyan or green or anything like that that the ss5s have so again, the Dow Dynamics SS3 Maxes, um, they're running about 40 watts for the main beam. And then as far as mounting, there's a couple different options out there, but I would say uh, some of the more popular brackets are either the Z-Road brackets here, uh, like I have, or the Shifts and Grin brackets. They're all about the same price and actually I have a coupon code that I'll share down below for the Shifts and Grin uh, brackets. But all of them put the lights up in a nice uh, location to give you the, the, the best output or the best uh, control of where that beam's going. Um, as far as the beam itself, again, just like my SS5s, these are driving pattern, which again, to me, is the most usable light pattern for the driving that I do. I use my lights primarily for when we're driving up to a lake house in deer country, and having that nice square, clean line and clean cutoffs allows me to aim these guys exactly where I need it and put the light where I want it. 
But anyway, those are my A-pillar pods, SS3 Maxes. Absolutely love these lights. Arguably the more popular lighting upgrade that most of us do. And this was 100% bolt-on as well. Okay, so next to the SS5s, I get a ton of questions on my SSC2s here. Um, so if you notice, these are mounted kind of like chase lights. Um, I have the Adirac Pro Series, or, yeah, Adirac Pro Series truck bed rack. And because of that, I have bolts that go through the stake pockets. And the other day I was sitting there looking at it and I thought, hey, what would be cool is if I took some of my SSC2s and just used that bolt, got a little bit longer of a bolt ran it through a spacer, and then I come out my SSC2s up here, run the wiring through the bed, and we're good to go. Diodynamics SSC2s, operating as chase lights. I would say these are more so for looks above all else on the truck. Uh, as far as usability, they're a little far back, a little too low for them to actually be quality reverse lights because the, bled, the bed of the truck actually blocks all the light coming out of it, or at least the light where you need it. If anything, if you really wanna turn these into something useful, flip them sideways, you could shine them down and maybe wash the side of your truck or the side of the road. But anyway, Diodynamic SSC2s, I believe these are sports. Let's go to my list here. Yeah, so these are the SSC2 sports, uh, and these are also in the driving pattern, or SAE dot driving pattern as they call it. Uh, these guys are only putting out about 871 lumens, so they're not a crazy amount of light coming out of here. Um, but these are also backlit. You can see I got four cables in here, or three cables. You got ground, you got power, and then your backlit, which is blue. Uh, I need to fix my electric tape here. But the backlighting on these guys is red, but you could also get these in, let's see, uh, amber white and blue so if you want to run them in the front you can run them on amber as far as like a, an auxiliary marker light or whatnot but i have them in the rear and when i turn my truck on here i'll show you let's turn on my lights so when my truck is on you can see they're backlit red so it gives it a nice cool look um, but anyway ssc2s sports not the pros so not the greatest amount of lumen output but these ssc ones and c2s these little two inch and one inch jobs um, are pretty nimble and you can put them really wherever you want case in point here but anyway those are my chase lights let's go talk about this guy up here all right so this is my evil manufacturing third brake light so inside here what you're seeing are three Baja S2 Sport pods. I picked these up from Endless Performance. It's a speed shop up out of Wisconsin. The guy was on the forum, started chatting with him and he said he can get good prices and he for sure did. Uh, so that's why I'm running Baja Design ones in. I would totally run Dow Dynamics if I could because I think they're slightly more affordable. But because the bracket is built around the S2 platform from Baja Designs, you're, you're obviously limited to just using those in here. I went with the sports, not the pros. Sometimes I wish I would have went with the pros to get that additional light output. But anyway, as far as the light output, we got two different kinds of lenses. Lens in the middle is a very simple one. You can see it's just a spot. Obviously in the middle, I want to just throw that light as far as possible. On the outsides, these are called wide quartering. Yep. Uh, no, actually driving combo. So the combo, because you got a spot and then you got that wide angle lens that's gonna diffuse some of that light out to the side, I thought that was kind of nice for them being on each side. So you got the diffused one here, so it's gonna throw light out. I get a lot of questions on this one. Um, I will put a link to the video where I installed this down in the description below. This was a lot of work to install and it's not for the faint of heart. I had to cut a little bit of the metal to make sure that the pods fit inside there. And then you gotta run a lot of wiring to get these lights powered. But I will say of all the lights, I get the most compliments in these and the SS5s up front. So I absolutely love these. This is one of the lights that I really did wanna run from the start. I like the lights here. So I got a bed light here and then when I hit the brake, these are red um, or they're marker lights as well. But anyway, these are awesome lights. And also um, I may or may not sometimes use these uh, when you got tailgaters. Uh, so that spot is super helpful. I have this whole light on one switch. So if I hit that one switch, the whole light turns on both all three lights. Um, and if I got someone tailgating me, this is actually throwing a ton of light to get their attention to get them up and out of the way. And I could put it on a strobe as well. Um, as far as usable light, again, similar to my chase lights, they are somewhat blocked by the bed of the truck. Not a crazy amount, but they do throw light real far. But again, you kind of lose the light right about here because the bed of your truck is blocking that section and you're gonna get your light, the best light output, probably about 15, 20 yards out from your truck with the evil manufacturing they are angled down it's going to throw that light but again lamps. but anyway that is the evil manufacturing bracket and then the s2 pods uh from baja designs like i said had i known how much i use these i would have gone with the pros and just kind of spent the extra bucks 
but it would be cool if you see something like this that utilizes the ssc 2s i really like the backlighting function and i think the backlighting function in combination with this guy would be a pretty slick product all right last and certainly not least is the dial dynamics hitch mount ssc 1r uh, light on my truck so you can see uh, it's basically the ssc1 lamp that's that's uh mounted inside of a custom hitch mount bracket that Dow Dynamics makes. So it's a turnkey kit. All it does is pop in here and then you can throw a lock on there and then you got a light coming out of your hitch. Then it comes with a harness that intercepts your seven pin plug. You plug in the di di diode dynamics harness, you plug in your factory harness into the diode dynamics the other side, and then it gives you your power feed for here. This light does a few different things. One, when I put the truck in reverse, um, it turns into a white floodlight and covers up and covers this area nicely with a big flood of white light, which is nice because paired with my evil manufacturing light, it really does give me plenty of light for my camera to see not only close stuff behind me, but like I said, that 15, 25 yards out um, all through the factory camera. The other thing that this gun does is when the truck is on and my marker lights are on, there's some faint amber backlighting in here. So it's just another light um, that you have on the rear of the truck. And then when I hit the brakes, that red backlighting actually turns brighter and then it flashes three times. So like I said, I have the SSC-1R kit, which has that brake light functionality where you hit the brake, it flashes and then stays on constant. Um, as far as lumen output, this bad boy has got a thousand lumens per lamp, which is pretty sweet. And it's running at close to 13 watts. That backlighting, again, it's pretty weak. It's 0.3 watts, but it's just there for uh, visibility. It's not there to be a functional light or functional turn signal or anything like that. In general, if you were to buy the SSC1 kit or lights on their own, um, they too also come in the four, by, four backlight, backlit options. Jeez, muffle. Um, so white, amber, red, and blue. Again, this is the ditch mount kit or the hitch mount kit, and it comes in red backlighting for obvious reasons because it's on the rear of the truck and you want red back there. Anyways, that is part one. That'll close out part one of my lighting overview. Again, all I wanted to walk through here was what lights I have, what mounting I'm using, and I'll finish up in a second here with what my favorite lights are on the truck. But I figured I'd get a lot of questions on that, so I figured let's make a video and kind of walk through everything step by step. As far as lights on in the hopper. So I got two ideas that I'm playing with. Um, so if you were following Dyer Dynamics the other day, they just released a bunch of fifth gen stuff, and I may or may not have a set of the fog lights on order. Um, so I really like the SSC2 fog light kit that they came out with. Uh, so we'll be swapping those guys out for that. And maybe, just maybe, I might have something going on up on top of the truck, but we'll cover that one when we get there. But, but. Get asked this a lot. If you have a limited amount of funding or if you have a specific budget and you're gonna spend it on one specific lighting setup, which one would I recommend? I wouldn't recommend these guys. I'd actually recommend the pillars because having that light up just high enough and then off to the side gives you the most usable light output on the front of your truck. And we'll talk through that in part two here uh, when I can show you the lighting pattern here. But these, if you have a limited budget, let's say you have $500 to spend on lights, I would go for eight pillar lights in a heartbeat. Run these before any other lights on your truck. Chase lights would probably be the last ones because honestly, that was just a quick do-it-yourself project for me. I just wanted to find a home for these and this just seemed the most practical and it's kind of a cool look but it's not really serving much function where it's at for the purpose for, for how i use my truck but if you're going to spend money do it on these you'll also notice i don't have amazon special lights on this truck i've gone through those gone through a number of different brands of those and what i realize is yes while they may be bright looking straight at them the optics and how they use that light and push it out to the road where you need it is pretty poor um, you get what you pay for really on all that and I wasn't about to spend top dollar on Primo lights that can stand, you know, um, the desert and everything and, and on dune buggies and whatnot. But I found the Dow Dynamics to really offer the best bang for the buck. Yes, they're more expensive than the Amazon Special, but they're not um, completely out of a normal price range. And for a daily driver, I would definitely recommend spending a little bit extra money on the Dow Dynamics kits here. Um, again, mostly because I could tell you the lighting output's awesome and then the durability is pretty sweet. These guys have been in my truck for about two years now in Midwest summers, Midwest winters, and they still look brand new. The finish is still there. They get a lot of salt spray and they still look awesome. Anyway, 
that should finish up part one of the lighting overview on my Ram Rebel. Like I said, got a few projects in the loop. If you have any specific questions, by all means, uh, leave your questions in the comments below. Well, but thanks for checking the video out. Like, comment, subscribe. Please definitely subscribe to the channel. Helps me keep these videos coming. And like I said, I'll follow up a part two in the next few days here once we get uh, some time to go out and take a look at the lighting pattern. But with that said, thank you very much. Bye.